What is up, people? It is Squirrely Nuts, and today, as to the request of one or two of my subscribers to see more Battlefield commentary, I have obliged, and right now you're watching some close quarters gameplay. I'm getting up close with the PP, if you know what I'm saying, wink wink, but uh, I was actually using it out of my own will, I guess. Nobody told me to. But it was still really painful. I'm just trying to get the, uh, what is it? The, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's like the P the PP specialist. I mean, I'm already a specialist with my PP, if you know what I'm saying. But, you know, I'm trying to get that assignment. You have to get a bunch of, like, 200 kills with it or something. So that's the only reason you see me using the PP-19. But I was playing some close quarters with one of my friends to... He just got the game, so I was helping him try and get some of those assignments so he can get some of the better guns. But I've already rambled on too much about PPs and getting close with them, so I guess I'll move on to the topic of this video. Endgame. The final Battlefield DLC is finally going to be here. Now, just to give you guys a little story, I guess, I've had Battlefield since Carcand. I got my Xbox... In Christmas, and Battlefield is like, I got it the day after Christmas. So I've had it around when Carcand had just come out. So I've been, I've played Battlefield for a while. I've over like 200 hours in it. I know the game, and I've played it a lot, and I've really liked it. But now the final expansion pack is coming. And to a lot of people, it's kind of weird, because Battlefield's been around for like two years and it's finally coming to an end which can be kind of strange but I'm looking forward to Endgame. I know a lot of people aren't uh, because like oh there's no new weapons blah 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 but Capture the Flag does actually look pretty fun and people always forget that they do actually add new vehicles which I can I think are kind of more fun than weapons at times but I can understand why people want more weapons, there's more service stars, there's more challenges but I personally I would like some weapons but it doesn't affect me that much because there's already something ridiculous, like 70 guns or for Battlefield, and that's just primaries. So, I don't think it's that big a deal. And the maps look really cool. There's... The one that looks the coolest to me is the, uh... They're, they're adding... Like, the endgame maps are supposed to be, like, the four seasons or whatever of the world. So, there's, like, there's, uh... Winter, uh, spring, summer, and fall maps. And now, the winter one looks really cool. <laughs> that was pretty punny, but... Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. It's You can find the screens on the Battlefield blog. I, I'm not going to link them because I don't want to get in trouble for anything that might be premium exclusive or whatever, so... I'm, you can look it up. If you're premium, you can see some videos on Battlelog of Endgame. It was some really, like, set-up, quote, dirt bike thing. But the dirt bikes do look kind of cool. But I kind of think they're just going to be, like, the ATVs from Armored Kill, where people are just going to, like, drive them around for, I don't know, a couple days, then, get, then realize that you get shot off instantly, and you can't do anything with them other than Jihad. But... Yeah, the dirt bikes do look kind of cool. It'd be awesome if you could do wheelies and stuff on them, like just driving around doing wheelies off of things, which I think you can. I know you can do jumps, but if you could do wheelies, that'd just be... That would make my day, or and that month that I would be playing Endgame. And... Yeah, the other maps, some of them... Lo one of them looks like a lot like Firestorm. That one looks like it could be okay, but none of the other maps really like, intrigue me, you could say, but they should be fun, they're, they're the, like, the two last expansion packs to me have been the two that are true Battlefield expansions, like, you can say that, uh, Carcand was the first one, but then there came Close Quarters, which you're watching right now, which was kind of a joke, except for the weapons, and then Armored Kill was just for the vehicle people, and no one really enjoyed it that much. But 
Aftermath, I think, was awesome. The maps were really cool, and it was more like playing Battlefield again, even though they were a little bit smaller than, like, Karkand or the maps that came with the game, and definitely a lot smaller than Armored Kill. It brought a lot of people back to Battlefield because they weren't getting raped the whole time by an AC-130 the entire game, but... Yeah, and, oh, that, speaking of the AC-130, Endgame's supposed to have a C-130... No A, it's like a dropship, but it's going to work exactly like the AC-130, where you take a flag, it circles around, and then you, you can jump out of it. Which I think what that's what the AC-130 should have been the whole time. It never should have had that gigantic cannon and the gun. I mean, that's the whole point of having an AC-130, but the big cannon was the main thing that ruined it, since it had... Uh, thermal or whatever, you could see people anywhere on the map and just snipe them. I think that was the main problem. And you could jump out of it and get to, like, behind the enemy spawn just when it was passing over. And it's like, it looks like the C-130 is going to be exactly like that, except minus the gun. And apparently you can also drop, like, tanks and jeeps and stuff out the back of it, which could be kind of neat. But now I think I should mention my channel kind of like what's going to be coming up i'm definitely going to be posting endgame i'm probably not going to do it the f the day it comes out march 13th i think something like that cuz i want to be able to play it for a day before i have to sit down and make a video and have to restrain myself from snapping my laptop over my knee which is the thing I use to edit and it's been giving me a lot of problems like uh, I have the volume muted on this video cuz for some reason my computer added a uh, lag to the audio like there's like a two second lag and I don't know if it bothers many of you but it really annoys me so I've just muted the audio for this gameplay uh, yeah, I will, tr but when Endgame comes out, I'm definitely going to try and do videos on it in the first week it's out, for people who might not be premium and they might want to see some gameplay, and I will, I'm going to try and get to Colonel 50 by, end like, when Endgame's out, try and get it while I'm playing it, I'm, right now I'm Colonel 35, I'm almost 36, I can definitely get to it if I were to sit down and play Battlefield, and I'll probably get it in the month that Endgame comes out, but I'm, the problem is EA apparently after, there's a rumor that once Endgame's out, they're just going to pull the plugs and stop supporting Battlefield, but I'm not sure if that's completely true, there might be some double XP or some more of those dog tag challenges or whatever, but that's all I got for you, this is Scrolling Nuts heading back to his tree.